What's up guys, today is day 23 on my journey to 2000 and today I basically did 171 chessable puzzles and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and from one of those YouTube videos it was a Daniel Naraditsky speedrun from like a few years ago and I take notes from each of the videos of his speedrun journey and one of the notes I took was EST equal or stronger threats to keep that in mind even though I know about that and the other one was be flexible if you don't need to take, leave a piece there which seems scary but I guess I think you need to take risks and make mistakes to see those kind of things play out. So we might lose some rating here, but we'll try to be a little more risky, smart, risky, I don't know. And we're going to play a game here. I haven't played any games today. <clears throat> I'm going to go with the Karokan. We also have to study the Karokan. Oh, I also read, um, there's a positional book that I have. I read page... I read like half of the chapter. And it's actually, it's hard to read chess games. I read one chess book before this one, and yeah, I don't know, it's 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 hard. Okay, so here we're just gonna attack this. I think this is all standard theory stuff. I think we could go here. <clears throat> I wonder if like taking, take, and then bringing the bishop, but. By the way, I say we're gonna take more risks. When I say that, I don't mean that, um. We're going to take stupid risks. So if I feel like I want to do a move that I know is not a book move, but I think it's going to do something, like I, I'm going to think a lot before doing that sort of move. This move looks really weird to me. I don't know what that accomplishes. I have no idea what that accomplishes. I think we could even bring this knight out and bring it here. Um, I, I don't really know the book moves after this. I think the knight coming here is actually normal, though. Well, we could attack the bishop right away, too. Yeah, let's attack the bishop. Yeah, that's just a free bishop. <laughs> that's why you don't play fast. I don't... I... I... Huh? Okay. He's not resigning. That's just a free bishop. <laughs> now, if he takes here, we just take with the bishop, eyeing the queen, I'm guessing. Okay, um, what if we do this? He takes, we take back, he checks, we go here. I don't know, I'm not sure. <clears throat> There's also this idea, prompting him to take the pawn. We take, he checks, then we come here with the king. The rook is gonna be in an awkward position, but, hmm. Our bishop's going to be ready to come out? No, because the queen will be here. Um, I feel like there's a move here that I'm missing. All right, let's think. Can we attack the queen, right? Risky stuff. Can we, well, we could, do, we could attack it this way. He could still go on with his plan. So I think because he could still sack this to do some weird, stupid stuff, um, we're just going to develop this. Okay, he doesn't do his stupid stuff, so I think this is an easy move now. I think this is an easy move now. <coughs> There's also this move, prompting the knight to take, so we take here. I don't know if that's dumb, though, because if, if this, and then he sacks, and then we take, the queen can come with check, and then take our knight, maybe? Um, if this, I'm thinking of castling, but I thought, oh, what if he takes here? I mean, actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think castling is fine. And we might even kick this knight out soon. I kind of like this idea. Now this idea might be good. Okay. Uh, he doesn't let us do that. This idea still works, though. Because if he takes, we take with the bishop. Now, if he comes in and we take, he takes with the knight. <sighs> hmm. We could all... Hmm. Now I'm thinking this is a good move. This just stops the knights from coming in. I'm thinking it, and I also just played it. And the idea here is... Simple. We come here, if takes, 
takes if takes no that doesn't make sense <laughs> i think we try to go for the trade now now okay he takes it because we're a whole piece up you know trading is I feel like good here yeah you see i don't i don't know what that move does we're just gonna come here and trade everything Very weirdly played. Um, so take, he takes with the rook. We attack. If he comes here, then we don't have anything. Interesting. Interesting. But if we don't take, he takes our pawn. So I feel like we should take here. But we allow the rook to get in. We could also just push. Which actually stops the rook from coming in, and if he attacks, then maybe we take, and that opens up his king. So I, I, I like the idea of pushing here, actually. Then we could push the king, push, push the pawn, push the king, and get our rook into the position. Maybe. It is starting to look a little scary. And at one point, we might want to, like, solve this issue. Because I don't want the knight to forever stare at this, right? I want it to come into the game. Okay, so he does do that. Um, yeah, I think taking, taking, and then pu pushing the pawn, because if he tries to get in, we push the king, and we're already, like, on our way to good stuff, so let's just take it. <coughs> and we don't want to open this whole thing up and give them access to this, so we're going to push this pawn. Yeah, now we push the king, and we're going to bring the rook in. And now we're fine. We also have this. Oh my god, that's such a cool move. Right, he didn't bring his other rook in. He brought the thing, which is really weird. Yeah, if he takes, we take. I, I don't know what that's supposed to do. We're going to bring our rook into the game. Uh -huh. And he's not even paying attention. He's not paying attention. Um, Let's take with check. <laughs> let's take with check. We have this blocking the pawn from pushing. Uh, if he comes here, maybe we do that rook move. Yeah, we're just completely... Win Th this is why you don't play fast. Is this like a 1480 or something? Yeah, 1477. Okay. Watch me watch me blunder something because I'm saying all this shit. Okay, we have to be careful here. If the rook comes here to try to trade, we trade this way. Because if takes, we take the rook. And we're just completely winning. Um, There's also the option of just checking... And then if he goes here checking, but I kind of want to trade everything. Ooh, this would have been bad. He just takes my rook. That would have been dumb. So here, let's say here, 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 here. Or do we bring the other rook and just kick the king out completely? I think, <coughs> I think I want to, I think I want to, want to check. This is also a little weak. I have to be careful with that. Yeah, now we take the pawn. Now it's okay to open this up, maybe. Because we also have this move, which is nice. And if he wants to come here and attack our knight. We also have this, checking. Okay, yeah, we're just going to check here. Maybe take with the knight here. Yeah. This is just completely winning. I don't know what he's, what he's doing. Is there some sort of... Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, is there some sort of trick here? Like, that was the weirdest game ever. Like, don't play fast. See, I didn't get mad. My opponent played fast. I didn't get mad. I just played solidly. I didn't... Look at this. I played with 91.3. No inaccuracies. No mistakes. No misses. No blunders. I Studying seems to have helped. Now, because of life, I can't study as much as I would want to every day. But, oh, I didn't do the best move here. So, this is the best move because it attacks this directly. I thought... I thought this was fine because it protects this. But it doesn't need to be protected because if he takes, I have this. Now, this does mean I can't bring... If he castles, I can't bring the knight here, right? It's saying to go h6 to stop any funny ideas, I guess. <laughs> um, and then a6. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't even develop the knight and bishop. That's crazy. The way I played, I developed both. 
I, 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 I've done this move before with the queen coming here. I guess the point is to attack the b2 pawn, but, you know, it's a poisoned pawn. I don't know. I just didn't like that idea. And here he just blunders the bishop, and I'm like, okay. This guy just knows how to play fast. Um, huh. The better move was to come here. Interesting. Interesting, because I have no idea why that's the better move. Okay, at this point, when you're winning by so much, you don't need to really focus on the better moves. And here, interesting. I could ignore all this and take here. Because if he takes here, I'm taking here. And everything is split. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. I, there's nothing attacking me. I was too... You see, I didn't even take risks here. I was too scared. And I didn't trade here or anything. Look how long they're just like, take the pawn. Yeah, I wonder if... Yeah, take the pawn. <laughs> Funny. Okay, and then here I take. And... Yeah, this is game over. Even if this happened, I would probably do this, because if he moves out of the way, just trading everything is, is better here. Wow. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Good day today. And I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait. Say lens if you made it this far and didn't click off. Uh -huh. Lens in the comments. Okay, bye.